All right, we got ourselves a doozy. The diameter of a circle is four meters. Draw yourself a circle, step one. The diameter going from one side to the other edge, all the way across the circle, four meters. Label it. Find its area. Okay, so area of a circle. If you're not sure what area of a circle is, area equals pi r squared. Now you have to understand what r is representing. r in this case is representing our radius. Our radius was not given. Instead, they gave us the diameter, which is all the way across the circle. But we want to cut that in half because the radius is from the center to the edge. So half of four would be two meters. So two meters is our radius. So now we can substitute that in to our formula. Plug the two in for the radius. That's all we need to do here. And then we just need to work it out. We're going to get an answer down at the end. Because we're multiplying by pi, which is a number that goes forever and ever and ever, never ends, we're going to get a decimal that goes forever and ever, never ends. And they want us to round it to the nearest tenth place. I'll show you how to do that in just one second. 2 squared makes a 4. 4 times pi is equal to our area. Commutative, commutative property of multiplication means I can just flip those. Mathematicians would want to see the 4 in front of the pi, giving it as a coefficient. Okay, so 4 times pi, I'm going to multi multiply those two values together. 4 times pi, 12.56. Some more values after that, 12.56637061. Rounding it to the nearest tenth place means we only got to go to that value right there. That six tells me to bump it up, so our answer is 12.6 meters squared. Study hard, and good luck on your upcoming test.